In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Power Virtual Agents in conjunction with Q&A Maker to create a bot that has a personality and can answer common questions and answers. And we're going to do this without having to create a ton of topics. Um, so if you want to know how to get started using Power Virtual Agents, you can check out my previous blog post. But we're just going to jump right in and get started. So here I am in Teams. I've opened Power Virtual Agents in Teams. And now I'm going to go to the chat bot we previously created uh, called the first bot. And we're just going to work within this bot uh, to add question and answer maker, Q&A maker, so that we can respond to questions and answers and so that we can also get that personality in there. So first of all, let me show you what we have in Q&A Maker. So if you jump over to Q&A Maker, I already have a knowledge base created. I also have some blog posts on how to get started with Q&A Maker if you need to do that. But we're going to assume you already have uh, your knowledge base created. So if I click on the knowledge base here, we can go ahead and we can test it so you can see what it does. And it's a very simple bot. I've given it a personality and then I've given it a, little, a few questions and answers about uh, my company, Pate Group. So we can say, hello, and it's going to respond with, hi, I can say, tell me a joke, you know, tell me a joke, and I can say, um, what does Pate stand for? And it's going to come back and say, Pate stands for Powerful Alone and Invincible Together, and say, how do I contact Pate? It's going to be, give you your contact information. See, so this is a simple bot using Q&A Maker that we've already set up. So what I want to do is I want to make my Power Virtual Agent use this same knowledge base to respond to questions and answers and also have personality for our users. So by going back over here into our bot, uh, we're going to go to the settings for our bot down here in the bottom left. And we are going to choose over here system fallback. So I'm going to click on system fallback and we are going to add a system fallback and the system fallback is a topic that's listed in preview and basically anything someone says that the bot doesn't understand is going to be filtered through this fallback and that's what we want. When someone says someone's just having a conversation with the bot for the personality we want to just filter it through this fallback or if someone's asking a question that is specific to our knowledge base we also want it to just pass through this fallback so we've enabled the fallback and now we're going to go to that fallback topic and you can see basically there's unrecognized user input and what message do you want to show with the unrecognized input and then there's an option to escalate but we don't need this escalation so we're just going to delete that uh, and we are going to now add an action and that action actually needs to call uh, into Q&A Maker. So when someone asks a question, asks a question, we don't recognize the question, well let's send that question to Q&A Maker. So let's add a node. We're going to call an action and we are going to create a flow. And we're going to create a flow by clicking on Power Virtual Agents Flow Template. And now we're taken to our empty flow here. So what's going to happen is a person's going to ask a question to our bot, and we're going to pass that question to Q&A Maker to get the response. So we do need to set up our flow to, to take an input. So let's create an input. We'll call it question. And now we need to add an action. So we can search for an action here, and you can see that there are some actions for Q&A Maker. And there is one that is generate answer. So let's click on Generate Answer. And now it's asking us for some information about our Q&A Maker bot. So if we jump back over into Q&A Maker, and you click on the settings over here at the top right, you can scroll down the page and you're going to have your deployment details. And within here, you're going to have this information that's looking for. So it's asking us for the knowledge base ID if we come back over here to our details, we can see there is the knowledge bases, and here's the ID. So let's copy and paste this knowledge based ID. It's asking us for a service host. So let's copy that from the host over here. And 
it's asking us for the endpoint key and we can get that by copying the authorization endpoint key and finally it's asking us for the question and that question is going to come from the question that gets passed into the Power Virtual Agents. So now this is going to call into Q&A Maker. We'll use the response and send the response back to the user. So to do that, let's initialize a variable. So we'll do a search for init, init var, initialize variable. We'll call this variable response and it will be a string and now we will set that variable and the value we're going to be saying response to the answers answer that comes back from Q&A maker and finally we're going to return back to the user text that is going to be we'll call it the Q&A response and the value will be our response variable. Oops. And finally, before we save, let's change the name of our flow so we know what it is. This will be get QNA maker response. And we will save our flow. Okay, so now we can close this takes us back into the authoring canvas where we do need to go through here now add that flow that we just created call an action get QA maker response it's asking us what do we want to pass in to the variable question that's going to be the unrecognized trigger phrase and then what do we want to display to the user we want to display to the user the Q&A response that comes back from that action. So now we can save our bot. And we can just come over here and test it. So I can say hello. And it's giving me the greeting. Now the important thing to notice about this is there is a greeting within the Q&A maker, but because we have a topic for a greeting, it's using the topic for the greeting and not the greeting from the Q&A maker. And because the greeting topic is one of those built-in ones, we can't remove it. So you do need to plan on your greetings and your goodbyes coming from uh, Power Virtual Agents and not from Q&A maker. So this response came from the topic for greeting, but now I can say, tell me a joke. And it should now call in the Q&A maker because it doesn't know what that question is. And there you can see the response. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? So there's a response that came from Q&A maker. So I can say, um, how do I contact Pate? And it says, here's our contact information. You know, what services, services does Pate offer? And it comes back with that information. I can say, how are you feeling? And this should be more of that personality that comes back from the Q&A maker. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Okay, so I mean, with super quickly and easily, we're able to connect our Power Virtual Agent to Q&A maker so that we can take advantage of that personality and so that we can also get that knowledge base question and answer without having to create a topic for every single question that a user asks. So this adds a lot of power to our Q&A bot. And we can still do the things the bot used to do before. So I could ask about, you know, what is our vacation policy? And that's not coming from the Q&A maker. That is coming from our SharePoint list. So now it's going to say, hey, here's that Q&A maker response. I can say, um, what is the other one? So there was a built-in trigger for ordering a product. I can say, I want, oh wait, I need to respond to this. Yes. So now let me say, how do I order a product? It's asking me those questions. So if, if you go look at that other um, video that I did on the getting started with Power Virtual Agents, you can see this is executing 
those other topics and not just the Q&A maker topics. So if we jump over here to our topics, you can see there is the fallback that we created that sends everything for, through. There's the vacation topic for if someone asks them about a vacation. There's a greeting topic if someone says hello. And then here is that topic, which was that lesson for ordering a product. So this allows us to create bots with very specific workflows by creating topics for the more complex, complex workflows and then just sending everything else to that fallback to have the personality as well as to be able to answer common questions and answers. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can get the same functionality, um, but not by using, uh, we're not going to be using Q&A Maker, we're going to be using Lewis and a SharePoint list. And this gives you a little bit more control over how your Q&A bot's going to work. And I actually kind of prefer, prefer to using Q&A Maker, but that's just you know my preference. Anyway, check that video out. Um, it should be the next one in the link if you're looking at the blog post. And uh, thanks for stopping by.